Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. And in case you're wondering, though, uh, you can probably tell that I'm tracing these highlights in the hair really quickly. Uh, it is kind of hard to trace things that quickly with a mouse, but uh, that's why I don't use a mouse. I have a graphics tablet, and I'm not here trying to push a graphics tablet on you. You don't have to have a graphics tablet. and I'm not, not going to sit here and say that one type of graphics tablet is better than the other. I'm, I won't even tell you which type I have because I want you to uh, I don't want you to think that I'm just sitting here trying to push something on you but a uh, it helps a lot you know uh, to as an, if you're an artist already you know you're used to holding a pencil or a pen in your hand already and a mouse is just awkward it's kinda like trying to draw with your feet but uh, you know there's a lot of people that get really good at it just with a mouse and you know I was getting there at one point um, but it's kind of, you know, I'm not saying you can't do everything you do with a graphics tablet with a mouse, but it gets tiring with a mouse because it takes a lot more time and thought and, and effort, but with a pen it just kind of flows out easily. And I said that you can't do everything, you can do everything with a mouse that you can do with a pen, but actually that's not entirely true. Uh, pens do have a pressure sensitivity on them, and I, I'm not using any of that in this tutorial, but um, if you're doing like a digital painting in GIMP or in Photoshop, if you wanted to spend $600, uh, then you know about pressure sensitivity, and you're going to want that in those type of applications because you don't want everything just to be one solid color like we talked about earlier there's no area you're probably gonna find around you in your natural environment where something is one solid color if you did if you did have something like that it would certainly stand out sorry for the meticulous tracing here but uh, and you are free to fast forward uh, if you don't want to sit here and listen to me talk about graphics tablets and and other things all we're doing right here it is I'm gonna I want to show this skin through here where where her part is so I'm creating an object here that will go over the top of the uh, object on the canvas area over there and then we'll just color it appropriately and probably throw a gradient in there to make it look like it gets darker as it goes back under the hair If you've got any questions about any of this and you're watching on YouTube and you're not familiar with our website, then come on over. Give us a shot to answer your question on the forums. You can send me an email. There is a contact form available on the website, but um, you're much more likely to get a quick response from me or from one of the other Inkscape users on the site if you'll go ahead and post in the forums. And yeah, you do have to register to post, but you know, didn't necessarily want to make you have to register, but um, it kind of adds a level of accountability for people who would want to spam the forums. And I, I want to keep forum our forums free of spam, and so it's a nice community for you to enjoy without having to worry about seeing a bunch of spam and credit card offers all the time. But uh, as you can see, just a second ago, I skipped over an area 
where I just went wide and outside of the silhouette and the reason I did that is because I'm just going to cut that off with some path functions when we move it over to the um, to the graphic on the left this is definitely the longest tutorial I have ever done by far and of course I'm splitting it up into sections this thing is just a little over two hours long don't feel bad if you want to fast forward a little bit unless you just love listening to me talk alright and you know tracing around the hair is probably about the most meticulous part because there's so many little uh, jagged edges on these shiny parts and uh, I'll tell you the truth, I'm not going to do as much detail on the hair as I did on the face. When I, There is a lot I could do to make the hair look really realistic. But um, I think that a 12-part, 2-hour long tutorial series on avatars is probably about long enough. Uh, I doubt that a lot of people would watch it You know, if I was going to do that much detail on the hair. So, uh, you know, I'll be after this shine area here and maybe a couple other little highlights I'll be I'll be done with adding the shine areas so that we can move along to finish, finishing this thing up and uh, yeah I keep saying it's a 12 part tutorial there may be more than 12 actually because uh, I've actually got it split into 12 videos on my computer but when I upload this thing to YouTube it may be more so there may be like 13 or 14 parts to this and that's including an introduction but I would be interested to know you know if you would like to come to the forums and sorry to keep pushing the forums on you but um, I'd be interested to know how many of you would prefer this type of tutorial to the speed paintings that you see a lot of time on YouTube because there are a lot of those speed paintings out there and I don't really feel like they teach you anything they're great for inspiration they 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 really are inspiring to you know it's inspiring to watch somebody draw something uh you know from start to finish like that in about five minutes and they have their place they absolutely do I'm not trying to say that they're worthless and don't want to please don't send me a lot of emails saying that uh, I'm wrong about these speed painters because hey I do admire those guys I just feel like I want to contribute something different and something more comprehensive I've made a duplicate of this shine here then I'm select I'm, I'm making a duplicate of the hair and then I'm doing a uh, another duplicate of the bottom hair part because remember there's two pieces here and then I did a uh, a difference for the top part of the hair and then a union so if you need to back up a little bit and look at that again that was kind of a complex little thing I did there I just uh, I just split the hair shine part into two pieces by um, 